What's good guys? Welcome to Kenganda News. I am your host Joanita and I'm taking over the segment for today. You know the boys did what they did but now it's time for the girls to take over. But first, let's look at the headline. Rappers Sakode and Yemi Alade bury the hatchet. Equatorial Guinea gives China 2 million to fight off the coronavirus. Botswana sells licenses to hunt elephants. So as some of you remember in 2017, two years back, Ghanaian rapper Sakode and Nigerian singer had some issues ongoing. Apparently they had a collab and Sakode did not show up to the music set on time and he was, you know, he reached and he was going back and forth and what not, not doing the actual work he was supposed to do on set and that pissed off. Yemi Alade, the Nigerian singer, you know. So she, when she was doing media, she kept telling people the reason why her and Sakode are not getting along now is because he's unprofessional. Every time she's had to do a show, she, he shows up late and that was not going well with her. So obviously she was pissed, just like any other professional person. Wouldn't you be pissed? Do I know? I know you would be. So this Thursday, last week, Sakode went on Twitter tweeting, Shark Nation, tell the sis, that I'm sorry and whatnot. It's 2020 and there's no need to explain. There's no need, to, there's no need for an explanation. That's why he was telling her. And then Yemi Alade replied the tweet with, you know, the fist bump, the emoji to, you know, to show that, you know, they're cool. You know what Ugandans do, you know, like, be cool and whatnot. So that means, you know, things are now cool between them. He apologized. She accepted the apology. And now it's 2020 and everything is under the bridge. It's water under the bridge, basically. Equatorial Guinea gives China 2 million to fight off the coronavirus. As you've all had, the coronavirus just attacked China and there's so many people who are dying. That's so bad. Our heart goes out to them. We give them our sympathy. You know China is a big investor in Equatorial Guinea, right? In the oil industry, in the telecommunication. So as a form of solidarity, Equatorial Guinea decided, why not? Let's give them 2 million of government money, right? So after deciding that the government decided, the government had a sit down and it decided, let's give them our two million. Mind you, Equatorial Guinea has half of its population living below the poverty line. And what do they do with that government money? Instead of helping that all, you know what they say? Charity begins at home. What does Equatorial Guinea do? It gets its two million, had earned money, taxes from its people to give China an Asian giant. You all know China is rich, right? You've seen these Chinese in all these African countries making money off these people. So my, my thinking is, why don't these Chinese in these foreign countries, in these African countries, you know, come up with the money and donate to their own country? Instead of something as small as Equatorial Guinea coming up with this two million to give China as big as China is, come on. Mind you, I'm not saying it's bad that they're donating to, Equator to China and whatnot. It's not bad. It's always good to give back and whatnot. But, you know, you can't give back what you don't have. If your people are living below the poverty line, why don't you get that money and invest it in your people so that they can all be rich or middle class? Why do you have to give that money to foreigners? Chinese? Come on. But I do hope China does come up with a vaccine for the virus. Because, you know, it's also affecting some African countries. So I, hope, I do hope they come up with a vaccine. You know, elephants are like a, a big percentage of the wildlife in Botswana. They have so many elephants, they sat down and decided, hey, you know what, let's sell off licenses to hunt down these elephants. So as you all know, previously, Botswana had put a ban on hunting elephants. You know, the poaching had increased in Southern Africa. These white people were coming for the animals. They were, it was like a game to them to come and shoot down animals. It was like a fun. Go in the game drive, get out your rifle and start shooting down elephants and whatnot. And the reason they're giving for hunting down these elephants is because of the animal and human conflict. If you paid attention in class, you'll know that sometimes when human beings are living next to the game reserve, some of the animals will come to their gardens and eat their food. But you have to keep in mind, animals are animals. They'll always look for food. So these guys, human beings, want to put up gardens next to game reserves, knowing well animals are looking for food. So the animals are going, the elephants are actually going to come and eat that food, destroying that garden and 
putting a stop to their livelihood. And the reason these farmers against the, the elephants eating their, their food in the gardens is because some of them get their money by selling food from these gardens. So we kind of understand where they're coming from, but still, it's a game reserve. And you know, elephants are going extinct. So why not just move away from there so that the elephants can, you know, roam around and get all the food that they want? So listen to this. Botswana is giving out each license at $18,000. Can you imagine? And the killing of 60 elephants. So calculate that. How much is that? That's a lot of money. Does Botswana really need that money that badly that they're willing to kill some bits of mother nature so they can get some money in their pockets? I mean, it makes no sense. You all know elephants. I mean, the big ears, they're so chubby. They look so, like, they're so huggable, that trunk and whatnot. And most of these people going to hunt want the ivory has so they can get the mineral out of it. You know, everyone is looking out for themselves, but no one is looking out for Mother Nature. And that is the animals. What do you think? We have come to the end of this episode. Get back to us in the comment section. Tell us what you think. While you're doing that, do not forget to subscribe to Kangana. Do not forget to hit the bell for notifications. Do not forget to follow Kangana on Instagram. I'm your host, Janita. Till next time.